Hola amigos and welcome back to another episode of La Vida Verde Podcast. I am your host, Matthew Human, and my guest this week is my lovely neighbor from Alegria, Erica Hicks. Erica is a new paradigm business leader, an earth advocate, and a self-described water snob. And she is also the co-host of Embody a Magical Life podcast with her mom. We were just cruising around, envision, dancing it up together. It's going to be a great conversation. We hope you enjoy. Erica Hicks, welcome to La Vida Verde podcast. Hi, human. <laughs> What's up? It's great to have you back here. Erica stayed here as a guest. The first time I met you, you were staying as a guest with your partner, Ryan. Yes. And you guys bought a lot in Alegria. Yeah, we're actually right across the street from right you. Across the road. Yeah. My favorite navies. <laughs> um, and we were just hanging around Envision. We were just out of the Envision Festival together. Best night. My favorite night of the whole time was Polish Ambassador. <laughs> Ironically, because you're Polish, we were at the Polish ambassador dancing and having a great time. All the other Envision or uh, Alegria folks were there, Oren and um, my permaculture teacher, Itai, Itai. and Ryan, yep. and, and my friend Carol. Anyways, it was a good crew. We were getting down. Yes. And so, yeah, so the Polish, or is it because you were Polish, you felt like an affinity <laughs> with the Polish ambassador? Maybe, I don't know, but my mom is 100% Polish, and so I'm 50%, and um, 50%. yeah, I had a Bopshi, which is grandma, oh. if you didn't know that, so I called her Bopshi, and- We called our, I had a Polish grandma, we called her Baba. Baba, okay. Yeah, Jaja and Baba. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Bobshi. Bobshi. Well, we're American, we were Polish-American. Polish-American, yeah, but that was my favorite night, too. Friday was the best night, Polish ambassador. Yeah, we left and then came back, <laughs> remember? We were like- Oh, yeah, oh. you went to go check out the house music, uh, <laughs> Elderbrook over at the uh, Lapa stage. Yep. And we were having such a good time. We were right, right underneath this fire explosion <laughs> machine. It was cool. <laughs> it was super fun. It was cool. It was my first Envision and definitely going back. It was okay. a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we saw you everywhere. It's a fun one. It's a fun one. It really is a fun one. Especially living in the Machuca Valley when you have neighbors everywhere and everyone goes. I feel like I knew so many people at the festival. You did? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It's yeah. Fun. I ran into a lot of people. It's so many people though. It's anyways, we're not here to talk about Envision. <laughs> No. We're here to talk about you. Okay, so you're part of the eastern block of of uh, the Machuca Valley. There's a lot of Polish. We've had Kristoff. We've had yeah. Karina. Now we've had Erica Hicks. We're working on getting them all. We've, we're going to have Maria one day. We'll have Maria mm. one day. Okay. Mm -hmm. And tell us about where did you grow up? Yeah, so I grew up in Pennsylvania outside of Philadelphia mm -hmm. and I actually grew up on an organic flower farm. Oh, yeah. So my mom was organic flower farm. She We had 20 acres. I had goats, chickens, dogs, ducks. So like the farm life I've always been a part of. But, mm -hmm. you know, when you're growing up, especially as an only child, I uh, didn't want to help my mom weed her flower gardens <laughs> at all. She was trying to get you. She was like, trying to yeah, get me good. to help. And I was like, no way. And so, you know. Now I'm back here living in a permaculture farm and it's definitely the life that feels more in alignment. So uh, yeah, that's where I grew up. My dad's still there and my mom's in Colorado. So Colorado, I'd say, is my other home too. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Colorado. Nice. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I can see you as like a little girl like skipping through the flowers like la 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 la. Yes, there's some good pictures. <laughs> <laughs> what is your birthday again, remember? February 12th. February 12th. That's so. How's that? Not Pisces. Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Aquarian age. I'm a new paradigm business okay. leader, you know? And that's why you're a new paradigm. So what does it mean to be a new paradigm business leader? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So my mom and I talk a lot about this on our podcast, Embody a Magical Life. And it's basically just ditching the old pair programming and having new programming. So we actually went live today on our YouTube talking about how uh, new paradigm working is about self-expression and getting paid for your self-expression instead of working for money. So, you know, all the old paradigms, like you work hard, you work for money to pay your bills, you don't like it, X, Y, and Z. And now this new paradigm is about 
doing things you love, getting paid for the skills that you're good at, you know, podcasting, art, farming, music, whatever it is. Um, I'm part of a network marketing business, a global franchise. So to me, that is also a new paradigm uh, business leader because you're one, you're the world, you can sell in the world and then also you're networking, right? So I help you, you help me and it's a collaboration feel. So kind of just empowering people to do what they love. And how long have you, so you mentioned network marketing yeah. that, and you're talking about the water business. Yes. Kangen. Kangen, Kongen. 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 All right. I'm, I'm not sponsored by Kong, Kongen. <laughs> it's a Japanese You can send word. me a Kongen filter if you want Kongen. <laughs> um, I will drink your water yeah. like I drink Eco Tea's Mate. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It's a Japanese word. It means return to origin. So the whole point of making these water systems be called Kongen is because it's helping your body return to origin, return to homeostasis with this high vibrational water. So I've had a number of friends, like, you know, I've had a number of friends who have used the the Kongen when they had like illness. And I actually, yeah. I remember the first time I was on Maui, the guy I lived with had one and you could, it's, that's the one where you can change the acidity, yeah. make it more alkaline, make it more acidic. Why would you want to do that? Yeah. So that's why I'm also an earth advocate because it's not just a machine that you can drink water from. You can also replace a lot of your cleaning supplies. So when you're changing, the why you want to change the pHs is for cleaning supply purposes. Uh -huh. So the 2.5 pH is a disinfectant water, 11.5 0.5 pH is um, an oil emulsifier water. So I take my makeup off with that. I clean the stove with it. I also take off uh, organic herbicides and pesticides with that water. And then the drinking waters you can change from 8.5 to 9.0 to 9.5. So yeah, there's a lots of uses. There's 70 uses to the machine. Wow. So that's why I call it the number one sustainability tool because then you're not buying single use plastic. You're just using ionized water. Yeah. For all those things. For so all those things, yeah. Just you using your machine. make your own cleaning supplies with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can, I mean, they're weed growers, farmers use it for pest control. Um, Wait, how would you use it for pest control? So the 2.5 is acidic. So it if you're, if you're spraying your plants with 2.5 one day and it kills the bugs and then you're doing 11.5 the next day, it's hydrating it and you go back and forth, um, they say it's a really oh. good pest control. So, Have you tried it? Um, I haven't tried it on our plants yet or in our farm in Alegria. We should. But we should. We should. be curious. Yeah. We should get Oren in on that. We and, should get Oren. all of his like, <laughs> yeah. he's very like science-y. Yeah. He'll yeah. get some science up on that. Yeah. But um, it's great for your skin. It's so great for all things. That's what I mean. I could literally talk all 40 minutes about it. I believe it. it. <laughs> You're a distributor. I'm sure. I've actually been to a Kongan pitch before. Cool. Um, some friends up in Oregon that they, they were all about it. Was, uh, you know, I think it's a great, it's a great, um, it's a, it's a great, it seems like a really great machine. I'm curious, like, what's your experience with like, mul mul what do they call it? Multi-level marketing? Network marketing. Yeah, network marketing. Mm -hmm. Have you like, it's kind of got a bad rap at times, right? So what is your experience? Well, I've definitely had to work through that programming as well because it has had a bad rep because you're so used to these types of businesses like reaching out to you and your friends and family and like Pampered Chef or, you know, small businesses like that. And so since it is a high ticket item, we don't teach that. We teach online ads and we teach organic marketing and different ways than to just directly reach out to your friends and family right away even though you want to because everyone should be drinking high vibrational hydrogen rich water um that's why i'm a water snob too by the way it's because that's yes the only you would water. literally wouldn't drink the water out of my sink which is coming from our most amazing well and going through my very good filter she would not touch it because it's not Kongan water. I know. I forgot my water bottle. I have my, my camel back here. But yeah, I brought my machine to Envision. I bring my water everywhere. You can bring it through the airport because it's a medical grade device. So I say I need it for medical reasons, the water. And um, so anyway, yeah, network marketing, it's... It's I think it's new paradigm because you are helping each other. But then there's the reason why multi-level marketing gets a bad rep is because a lot of these companies need a quota at the end of the month. And right. so if you don't eat, hit your quota and you're right. not like, hey, remember to buy your subscription again. Remember to buy your subscription again for 
things that don't really matter like water matters but like makeup and you know powders and stuff aren't as important so I think that's why it gets a bad rap because they're trying to get their quota every month where I don't have to do that in my business it's Got a it. direct sales model that's good yeah, yeah I like I appreciate that better mm-hmm. I've I, well, yeah you know I've been pitched on a couple different things and it's always sure. like some amazing thing and like everyone's excited about it and then it usually fizzles, fizzles. out and then but yeah. it's but Kongen I will say has been like it's pretty 50 years this year pretty consistent yeah. yeah and and it seems like a good product it's, it's just an interesting it's a different model of like sales it just bypasses the you know a lot of the like traditional marketing so it's well, we're the marketers. That's right. why it's network marketing. And that's why the other right. businesses, they don't pay for marketing. They pay the distributors to be the marketers. So, right. yeah, it's a 50-year-old company. And they're part of the OEM, which is the um, original equipment management. So they make everything in Japan. And then they have distributor offices globally. So I can sell anywhere Amazing. in the world. Yeah. And Erica has agreed to give us 100% of the profits of every <laughs> Kong and she- I'm just kidding. She sells through this episode. That's maybe a, a percent total joke. Maybe joke. Percent. Yeah. See that? She's my friend. <laughs> um, just joking, but you know. But if you, they want to, if people are interested in yeah. this product, you should definitely get a hold of her because then you're supporting our local community. Yes. And speaking of our local community, tell us about Alegria. How are things going in Alegria? Well, we just had the HOA, which was um, interesting, but we realized that everyone does want to grow their own food and wants to be a part of that vision because that was the reason Ryan and I came down here. So our big vision was that we wanted our our kids and our grandkids to never be homeless and never to not have food. Mm. And so we sold everything and Ryan's mom is part of this vision. She sold everything to buy the land, to build the houses and um, to make this happen. And so we just really see that as like the big picture vision. How did you find out about it? Um, probably like everybody, you know, Stephen Brooks Netflix. and Netflix. Ryan was in Zac Ecoversity. Right. Ecoversity. So. Well, that's where I met Ryan. I was yeah. gonna say your partner. So your partner Ryan is is like the helping. He's one of the yeah. main people pushing the garden forward and and doing that whole um doing that whole thing. And I met him at Ecoversity's graduation. That was the first place I met him. I think you and Paula were in the same. Were him and yeah, Paula in the same yeah. group? Mm-hmm. Paula's his like first friend ever. Yeah, I met yeah. Little Mateo. And now you guys are actually like my two closest neighbors. Exactly. Yeah, that's I amazing. Love I love it. You're like right across the street. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I have to mention, I have to give a shout out to my Patreon. I'm being told to give a <laughs> shout out to Patreon. We, um, I'm, I'm trying to get better at like promoting this because we really do need, appreciate the support. In, in fact, like I'm trying to find ways to keep this it's podcast an easy way too. going of, um, yeah, like something you might not even, you might make it the donation, like a $5 donation or whatever. It might need you forget about it, but I won't forget about it. We'll be using that to pay for our production costs and like we need a new solar system. So I'm going to be making more regular shout outs. Also, if you have a, a, um, a company, if you're a company and you have an aligned product, let's talk and we can talk about that. So Kong and water. Blah, 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 <laughs> Kong and water. What's up, Kong and hug me up. And OK, so you guys haven't started building your house yet, though? Or? No, but we have a design. So we're building two houses, one for Ryan's mom and one for us. And they're small. But yeah, they're 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 similar but different, and yeah, they're kind of a spiral, right? Ours is a spiral. Ryan's oh. mom's is flat since she's older, so we didn't want any stairs or anything, and she designed hers completely on her own. So, Amazing. yeah, and um, we're hoping beginning of April break ground. Awesome. So, but we've already planted like seven banana trees, cacao. We have, um, I said this wrong today. It's not a Sitnam cherry. What is it? A Surinam. Surinam. We have a Surinam cherry. Pitanga. Pitanga. Yeah. Pina. Um, cool. Lots of stuff we've been planting on areas that we know won't get touched. How big is your lot? It's just about three fourths of an acre. Oh, okay. so, about what? 2,500 square 20, meters. 20, yep, 2,500 yeah. awesome. square meters. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So we're super excited. And again, like we, New Paradigm Business Leader, New Paradigm Living is not having a mortgage, following your dreams. And so that was like a big thing. Like Ryan has such a huge vision that I love him for because he 
took this leap of faith and I decided to go with him and so did his mom. Mm -hmm. And we decided to not have a mortgage and to just live rent free and have a house be paid for in full. Like no one can really say that at our age and to to be able to do that. And of course, shout out to his mother because it's all of her work and his dad's work, Jim, who made that happen because if they didn't have the house in Colorado like we wouldn't have this money to do it leverage so it's a generational thing and so it's making me see like what I want to do for my kids like I said and how I want to set them up for the future because if they don't have to worry about food or a house like what can they create what can they do they won't have bills really you know they'll be able they'll be a lot more free and um flowing and yeah and we'll definitely have Ryan on this podcast at you some should. point. Yeah, you no, should. I've been, I've, it, it's, it's, it's not like, in, you know, it's like we have. It's organic. It's very yeah. organic outflows and how my guests that's come. How, like, that's how mine is too. So, yeah. And speaking of, so let's talk about your podcast. Yeah. Like, How did it start with your mom that you guys. So we actually had a different name. We started during the pandemic and it was called uh, the Magical Holistic Healing Arts Podcast. <laughs> Pretty long. Very specific. Very specific. Um, but What's it called now? It's called Embody a Magical Life. Body a Magical Life. So we kept the magical part. Okay. And we started the pandemic because my mom is a homeopath. She has lots of holistic healers. And so that's what we started doing, just like interviewing our network. We had to stay home anyway. And then slowly, like new people came in and we just started interviewing them. We had ear iridologists, scalar energy people. Scalar energy? Scalar energy. Yeah. You haven't heard of that? Okay. It sounds like it's some like, reptilian. <laughs> Sounds like some reptilian shit. <laughs> it's um, I know it's like their most watched episode too. It's oh really? <laughs> yeah, because Interesting. is it filmed your podcast? Yeah, uh huh. So yeah, we do Zoom and then we have cameras. Right now we're just going live because it's just easiest right now. Um, every Friday on our podcast, mm. and yeah, so scalar energy. It's like um. Um. Oh my gosh! What's his name? Tesla. It's like Tesla stuff. Oh. Like free energy. Okay. Like a, like a coil, and you can like heal people with pictures, and you can he- like it's insane what this guy is doing. And um, it's I'll, I'll we can put the episode down okay. below because yeah, I we'll can't put really it, explain. We'll put a link to that episode <laughs> yeah, to that in episode. the description of this podcast. Okay, great. Also with a Kangen. Kangen water filter uh, link as well. Yeah, of course, of course. And but, so, how's the so pod? Yeah, started like that, um, and then we realized that we just wanted to have episodes of us talking, and so we do. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, me and mom wanted to talk. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and we still interview people. Like we just interviewed someone in continuum coaching, which is about actually water in the body and how our emotions create density in our body and you can use these techniques to release them and so that was a whole episode that we had no idea was going to be about water but it was in a different way and so dr don st john we just interviewed and dr don st john John, i know what a name that's cool (laughs) she had numinous rapping that yeah right (laughs) (laughs) so that's how it evolved and then we realized you know we um wanted to share more like frequency vibration manifestation Things of that matter instead of holistic healing. So okay, yeah. And okay. you're gonna have me on the podcast. Yeah, we want to inv- interview. Talk about? I want to talk about your farm and your life and your whatever. Okay, let's start you? now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we talk a lot about that here. Um, okay, and so what's next? What's what's what are you excited about? What am I excited about? Well, I'm excited to live in Costa Rica full time in a house. That's Are you here full time? I am full time. I am going to go home for a little bit for like a month or so. Home? Yeah. To Colorado. 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 Yeah. Uh, do some, you know, grown up stuff, taxes and the States and, but, um, just to like live here in our house that's fully done and, um, yeah, keep working online and be full time podcaster, full time distributor. Yeah. You also do, um, like uh, virtual assisting, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you full so, up now? Or are you? I'm not full up yet. Mm-mm, so <laughs> virtual assistant. Another, yes. This woman. This woman does it all. I do a lot. I, <laughs> I'm. I like being creative. I like being. I like building websites and graphic design. Cool. Social media and things of that matter. So um, email marketing. So yeah, I have a lot of self-taught traits that we i use talk. in a we lot of talk. we need your help <laughs> actually <laughs> perfect there All we right. go um but i'm most excited just to 
keep working online and being the new paradigm business leader and encouraging others to be because I truly believe that if we all step into this power and we step into this, you know, um, just our authenticity and our skills and really trust ourselves and trust that we can make it. I, that's, I think that's the biggest thing my mom and I talk about is your mindset. Your mindset, I think, is 90%. And then the 10% is staying consistent and doing the thing because you can't not do it. You, have, you can't just meditate and it's going to happen. You still have to right. do the thing. Oh, man. So many so, times I talk to people, like, I get, yeah. so, I get so annoyed with that, with, like, the, the new age culture, especially. Yeah. And you know what? It seems like it's, it's almost always the privileged ones that are like just think positively brother money just manifests i'm like yeah your dad manifests that money uh yeah so you know if just thinking is not gonna make you money having a positive attitude is helpful but money is not something that just falls from the freaking sky like some people have to work hard for it and and also visions need to be cultivated and land needs to it's be It's a good tended. balance. Yeah. So yeah. It's a good balance. I mean, for me like I kind of started the virtual assistant business because I really just wanted to work online even though I had a Kong and water business, you know, that's sales. Virtual business assistant is sales, but I also, you know, can keep clients and stuff. But I'm realizing that you know, like it, it it's like choose your heart right choose your heart do you want to go work for somebody else and show up for someone or do you want to you know show up on the farm every day or show up at eight o'clock for your business and your virtual assistant or whatever your you know calling is you still have to show up and have the systems and the and the doing part of it all so I'm kind of learning that lesson right now it's like well don't just keep jumping from business to business you just have to find your systems and stick to it and when it gets hard stick stick with it I have think you that's... worked like traditional business like companies yeah i actually was a um, insurance broker so i sold home and auto insurance oh. in colorado i was really good at it i that's actually fancy. really liked it because i liked educating people because no one knew what the heck was on their home policy right so i knew and i could explain it i could say this is why you want this coverage this is what this coverage means it's a, like a like an adult skill that I learned, honestly. <laughs> you know? Selling insurance. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so um, I'm still certified, so I could still do that, but no one wants to pay you out of the country to do that, so. Yeah, in Colorado, it's a Colorado thing. Yeah, it's your, state by state. Your mm -hmm. mom still lives in Colorado? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does she get, having any intentions of moving down here ever? No, I don't know. She's kind of like, so she, funny story, she, so. They like funny stories. 2020 happened, right, everybody? You were there. Um, and my mom moved from Pennsylvania, which she grew up in Pennsylvania, she, Bucks County, uh, since she was born. She never moved anywhere. So in 2020, she moved to be closer to me because Ryan and I were going to buy a house in Colorado and start a family. Mm -hmm. Then 2020 happened. We're like, well, we don't want to buy a house in Colorado. We don't want to, you know, food shortages were happening and all this. And so then I'm like, well, mom, I think we're going to Costa Rica. Sorry. And so she's still in Colorado. She's not really sure what she's going to do. She moved out there to be with you and <laughs> yeah. grandbabies. Yeah. And she's like, uh, where's my grandbabies? And, and where, where are you, actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the goal is to be financially abundant, that we'll be able to visit each other all the time through our Kong and Water business and our podcast and all the things. And uh, But right now she's just in Colorado and all my stuff's in her garage and that I left there. And My mom knows that world well. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> all moms do, I think. Yeah. It's the, it's the shout out to the moms. For, shout out to the moms. <laughs> for, me, for me, it's the closet. Yeah. I get the closet, not the garage. Okay. <laughs> so much, but. Yeah, yeah. So my dad's still in my house that I grew up in um, with the, you know, f organic farm, but it's not a farm anymore. He's, no. Oh no, it's like overgrown. It's so weird to see like where my mom's gardens are, are all like nature comes back, you know, trees are growing and Does he planted fruit trees or anything? No. Mm -mm. I should maybe tell him. You should yeah. get him on that. You and Ryan should go out there yeah. and like do a permaculture design. A little for that design. Place. Yeah, yeah. Like get some be apple easy. trees in the ground, some cherries, mm -hmm. some like some stone fruits. Because we can't grow those things here. Yeah, he'd appreciate it too. He's by himself with his Some dog. Freaking persimmons! Oh my god! <laughs> what is that? Persimmons? No. My favorite. One of my favorite. It's my one of my favorite northern like uh, temperate fruits. But it's like um, you've probably seen them before. They're like orange, and they're like you know they can be like like boob shaped with like a little nipple, or they mm. can be like squat like a tomato. There's two different varieties. The the boob shaped one's called a um 
It's called a hachia. And that one, ha you have to wait until it kind of like, um, until it's really, really super soft and ripe. Hmm. It, you, actually, you leave it on the windowsill and wait for it to get black. And then you eat it. Never and heard then, of these. And then there's the, the fuyu, which is like the little, um, the little like pumpkin looking one, tomato pumpkin looking one, but it's orange. Um, and that one you can eat like an apple. It's wow. crunchy like an apple. You've never had a persimmon? I don't think so. Oh, I'm gonna, sure to, I'm gonna, persimmon. yeah, when it's, I go um, home next. Have you had a black sapote? Chocolate sapote? Yes. So they're in the same family. Family, okay. So it's similar in a way, but totally different flavor. Cool. Anyways. I love learning new plants and food and stuff. I mean, that's one of the fun parts about living in Costa Rica is all the new food too. Yeah, what's yeah. your favorite? Um, I'm still, I still love the papaya. I mean, love the papaya. And we have three mango trees, grown up mango trees already on our lot. So I love mangoes. You have three mango trees on your lot? Mm -hmm. Oh, grown up ones. Criollos, like the ones that were there. Yeah, actually have one right here. It's our first one what? we've had. Look at that. Amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks like a good one actually. I know. I've had your mangoes oh. because it's on the road too. Isn't it going over the fence? Yes, it is. I've eaten those mangoes <laughs> for years. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, this is our first one. Yay. So it was just on our lot before it's not, it came. Yeah, it's better than the regular Criollos. It's a pretty good one actually. Mm, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I've never had that and I think, well, going back to the nine to five life, because I think a lot of people, even here in Costa Rica, a lot of people still, you still have to work like in Costa Rica. I think there's this concept of, you know, we're just on the farm and we're doing our lives. Like, oh, yeah. you know, you're promoting your, your Patreon and like I'm we prom still. Promoting my Patreon. I'm also like turning over beds you're turning, and hosting guests. Yeah, like, you're doing Airbnb no, I do, stuff. I do a lot of you, work You do here. so much work yeah. and everyone has to kind of sacrifice. And I think that's one thing that I love also enjoy our neighbors is like hearing their stories like eric and dina you know they were working three jobs at once to make this dream happen you know mm -hmm. we sold everything in colorado it's like it's it's a leap of faith it's a it's a new paradigm right you're doing something new to change generations to come and it's just really exciting and so it but but a lot of people are still working nine to five it's just remotely and so mm -hmm. it's not a bad thing it's just changing your perspective on it and realizing like yeah i'm doing this to get to a goal to get mm -hmm. to here and so you know ryan and i will our goal is to own something in colorado own something in costa rica because i would not be here for hot season dry season i'll you be i'll be snowboarding <laughs> yeah February and March are the best snow times in Colorado. Uh huh. And so my that's birthday cool. my birthday is in February. We'd love a condo there and right. that's the life we'd love to create. And All right. but mostly be full time in Costa Rica. That's good. Just, that's good that you have a clear vision and then you can work towards it. Work towards it, I yeah. I would go visit you. Yeah. I'll come celebrate your birthday. Yeah. Aquarius party up Aquarius in, party. Up in Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> um <laughs> That's how you say it. Colorado. 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 Um, Coloradians. And uh, I think, uh, speaking of Colorado, I think that's a, that's a good place to end our episode. <laughs> um, yeah. Anything else? Where can people reach you? Yeah. Um, Tell yeah, them. Of course, yeah. Instagram, I'm actually thirsty.for.spirit. And then... Wait, thirsty... Dot... Dot... F O R four dot, dot spirit. spirit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> our podcast, Embody a Magical Life. Um, we're kind of we need to work on our stuff. Where my mom and I have a Facebook page. The links will be down below. But I know a great virtual assistant. I can hook you. Yeah, up fly high virtually is what that's called. And yeah, Kong and water, water snob. You know, and drink your water, guys. And especially in co uh, Costa Rica, when you're sweating, when you're drinking. When you are, you know, drinking coffee, if you drink one cup of coffee, you should be drinking two to three times more glasses of water after that. So what about mate? Mate, I'm sure it dehydrates you, but not as much. Not as much. Yeah. It's also, it's not, it's not as acidic. It's alkaline. It is. Well, thanks so much for having me. Thank you. Human. Yeah, and thanks. it was so fun. You'll have to, yeah, you guys will have to come see him on my podcast. And I just love what you're doing here. And it's so beautiful. I was like walking up, mm. coming across, you know, your bri bamboo bridge <laughs> and seeing the flowers and the sprinklers on and everything. And it's just such a beautiful place. So if you haven't came to visit, please do come Aww. see his place. Shout out Finkabuda Rare Day. Yeah. Woo. 
Thank you. And um, yeah, you he was my this was my first experience coming to Costa Rica was staying in one right. of your tents. So right. I glamping. encourage glamping, encourage everyone to come here and just feel it out because that's what it's about. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Erica Hicks, <laughs> get a hold of her for Kongan Water. Mm-hmm. Check out the podcast. <laughs> we'll have links down below in the description. Um, I want to say thank you. Thanks for watching. This is La Vida Verde Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew Human. We release episodes every Tuesday. You can find us on YouTube. We also uh, have the audio version on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. Think of Vida Verde uh, at Facebook. We are on Instagram at Think of Vida Verde CR. And I want to shout out our Patreon once again, <laughs> where we have exclusive content. We have we well, we all we have uh, all these creative guests on, and we'll often ask them to do something special for the Ooh. Patreon. So it's kind of a it's kind of a way for not only for you to support us and like support this podcast, but also a cool way to get some cool extra content. And um, we, sometimes we continue the conversation. I want to do that. And all that. What do you want to do? I want to put some extra content on your We're going to do some extra content with Eric. I don't know what it's going to be. It's very exciting. That's why you I should bet figure it's gonna be out. Very exciting. <laughs> Let's check out patreon.com slash La Vida Verde podcast. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Pura Vida. Pura Vida.